Kate Middleton was left in an awkward spot by Prince William and the royal family in the early days of her romance with the prince, as she had no official guidance on her royal journey, according to an author. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are the proud parents of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. As the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge continue to step up their duties as senior royals, Kate is every inch the consummate professional. However, as a normal middle-class girl, Kate's entry into royal life with all its pressures and protocol was not all plain sailing. William and Kate spent 10 years dating before they finally tied the knot in 2011, and many royal commentators say that this time allowed Kate to slowly ease herself into the demanding and unusual life of a member of the royal family. However, according to author and broadcaster Vicky Ward, the Windsors themselves did not do much in this time to instruct Kate in the ways of their world. Writing in Vanity Fair in 2008, Ms. Ward said, All the royal press, and former courtiers I spoke to, agreed that until Prince William formalizes their relationship Middleton is in an awkward spot. She is not officially entitled to any royal benefits paid for by the taxpayers, such as security, she has no spokesperson and is not receiving any official guidance on what to wear or how to conduct herself in royal circles. However, by this point, Ms. Ward stated, Kate was making headway in endearing herself to the people closest to William. She wrote, she went to dinner several times with the Queen, who liked her, as did Charles and Camilla. Harry, according to one friend, took longer to warm up to her. William's friends, however, had some less than kind things to say about the then Miss Middleton. According to Ms. Ward, the set, known as the Glossy Posse, directed some sniping comments at Kate. She wrote, there are those in the glossy posse who question whether Middleton's poise is natural. One likened her and her younger sister, Pippa, 25, to the Bouvier sisters, with their obvious desire to marry well. However, even royal women who came from vastly more aristocratic backgrounds than Kate struggled with their entries into royal life. Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson, both famously on the outskirts of royal circles since early childhood, encountered difficulties once they were installed inside the palace. Looking at Sophie, Countess of Wessex's entry into royal life, Diana and Fergie held some resentment over how the Countess had been welcomed into the Windsor fold, according to a royal author. Ms. Seward writes, the Princess of Wales and Duchess of York only discovered how difficult royal life could be after they were engaged and already en route to the altar. Sophie was being given a careful and subtle introduction, a fact which did not escape the notice of Diana and Sarah. Both would later complain, with more than an edge of resentment in their voices, that they had received no such help as they struggled to get to terms with their new situation.